So are you too lazy to put a passcode on your iDevice or iPad? Hello everyone, this is Robert here. I want to talk to you guys about passcodes. Or in other words, passwords or uh, activation locks, those kind of things. Every device, let's say smartphones, iPads, computers, so forth, they all have usually a password setting. What is the main reason for this password setting? Well, I'm gonna explain to you guys this because there's a lot of lazy people out there that don't do this. A password, or passcode in other words, is pretty much a secret uh, set of numbers or set of letters or letters and numbers that we create so that we have access to our stuff and nobody else does. We can use Touch ID, so we can use our fingerprint. Some things use the retina, some use our voice, some use facial recognition, there's all kinds of different ones out there now. If we go with the smartphones, for example, or we go with iPads, for example, these are portable devices, or you go with your smartphone, your Android, Windows, whatever it is. When you're out in public and you're out there using it, do you really want someone to be able to pick that device up, get in there, see all your info and copy it, and then put it back? I mean, it's up to you. How, how important is your privacy? Look at the big battle Apple had with the FBI wanting to learn how to encrypt the phone, you know, get inside the phones, go through the back walls, go through all the, the stuff that is secret. Now look at that big battle that went on. It was huge. The question is, how important is your information? Now, I know a lot of lazy people, lazy, lazy, lazy. They don't want to use passcodes on their phone because it takes too long to get in. I guess two seconds or one second is too long. Because if you use your, your fingerprint, touch ID, for the new iPhone 6s right now, it's, it's not even a second. If you even type in the passcode, it's barely a second. I don't know what this lazy attitude is, but and then I hear this, this question. Well, there's nothing important on my phone for anyone to steal. They think that way. But let me tell you something. When you set up your account, the important information you've got on there, you've got your name, you've got your address, you've got your phone number. Those three things someone can steal and they've got your identity. You have a credit card or debit card sometimes attached. A lot of people have those already. You have contacts in there. Your family, parents, siblings, you've got children, whatever. You've got all your contact information in there. You have your maps, so that means you have your locations. You have your home address location, work locations, and so forth. You have emails, which have all your email addresses, your email contacts, your email messages. You have your bank information passwords to sites, passcodes, I mean all kinds of stuff. This is what lies in most people's phones, whether it be a Android phone or an iPhone, whatever it is, you have information. So this lazy attitude of saying I'm not going to put a passcode in, it takes too long and there's no information for anyone to steal, that's basically not true. An iPhone, a person cannot encrypt or I mean cannot actually get into remotely. But if they get hold of it, pick it up in their hand, you leave it sitting on a bar or sitting in a supermarket, and they get in there, they can copy the information from the device. Now they have access to it. They can even install a program on there so they can spy on you when you're not looking at it. Now, if, they, if you have a passcode and they can't get in, you're secure. Because iPhones cannot be hacked remotely. Most people think they can because of all these stupid rumors and media that come out. They have to have physical contact with the device in order to hack it, whether it be SIM card, whether it be them typing their stuff in, uh, connecting to the lightning port, whatever it is. If you have an iPhone, you have a, an iPad, it's secure and even more secure when you have a passcode. That's why the FBI had this mess with Apple. If you have another phone, Androids, Samsung win Windows, even with a passcode, you're a little less secure because most people can use swipe devices and then get the information off of it, sort of like copying it, carbon copying it. But a passcode will help. It gives you some advantage. They, they can pick it up and they cannot get in. Then Apple's created also a two-step verification. This makes it even more difficult. So even if the device is deleted, it cannot be activated. You delete it remotely through your iCloud, someone picks it up, they can't go in there and reactivate the device again and get your information. You have to have this two-step verification code and all that. So that, that's another protection that you have in there. But that's something you have to set up on your own. You have to save the account key so you don't forget it so that if you get locked out of your phone, you can actually access it yourself. That's what I'm saying. The passcodes or the passwords, they're extremely important. I don't know why a lot of people dismiss them. They don't use them. So I'm here to tell you guys today, if you haven't set up a passcode on your device, set it up. Because all you're doing basically when you don't have a passcode 
is you're going on the internet and you're advertising your name, here's my social, here's my bank number, here's my phone number, here's my children, here's my family, my parents. You're basically telling the entire world all your information. You're, you're giving them your money, your possessions, your home, your life, your identity, all this stuff. Just without one little simple passcode on a device. That's pretty much what you're doing. So then that's my main question. Why should you use a passcode? That's your main reason. So if you guys have any questions on that, leave them below in the comments. If you like it, give me that thumbs up. And don't forget to click that link on my blog because I've got a lot of stuff I update on my blog daily. And make sure you subscribe. Once you subscribe to this channel, you'll get all the videos as they come out. So if you don't have a passcode on your phone, get one, install one, use your Touch ID, and be ready to go. Well, I will catch you guys later with more. And I thank you guys for watching.